Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily juggling tutorials. If you're new to the channel please subscribe. If you enjoy the video leave me a like and a comment also. That'd be great because I am trying to grow my channel uh, and I do do these videos every single day so if you want to learn a juggling trick or a circus skill I'll be making a new tutorial every day with a different skill or a different trick. Uh, so subscribe to Kate, stay updated with all of that. Um, today what we're going to learn is how to balance an object on your face uh, and you can use for this uh, any object in your house that is kind of straight and stick like. So for example you could use a broom if you have a garden or a high enough ceiling. You could use something like an umbrella, you could use uh, a little a tube, this is like a poster tube. Um, I learned with a juggling club, but I don't imagine you have one of these in your house. Uh, if you do, then great. Um, other things could be a cricket bat, you know, a hockey stick, any like stick-like things that you can find, I'm sure you have something. If you don't have anything, I'm sure you have a wooden spoon and a wooden, or a spoon and a spatula, kitchen tools. I've just taped them together. I haven't taped it very securely and you would need to tape it a bit more securely, but you must have some utensils you could use in the house um, so you have no excuse not to try this trick. Just make sure if you're gonna make your own DIY balancing prop like I did, um, make sure that the lighter, smaller end is at the bottom and the heavier, uh, bigger end is at the top, you know, like a juggling club, you wanna replicate that. Uh, if you don't have something that's just straight, because this is also fine, but if it's different weights and it's uh, heavy in one end, then that'll be the top, small in the bottom. And yeah, so we're gonna learn how to balance a prop on our chin, like that. Uh, the other areas, I'll demonstrate with my club because it's a bit easier to see. The other areas to balance are the nose, and also on the forehead. I personally find the, I find the nose the easiest, but uh, A, it's a little bit less comfortable, I think, um, because on the nose you're balancing it on a bone, whereas the chin is a bit more padded, and uh, I think it has a nice sort of dent that feels like you know where to put the, the prop. Um, and also because on the nose it, you need to have something with a decent base otherwise it will because the, the bone is quite small and thin so something like this probably wouldn't work on the nose I mean it might but it's just not ideal uh, yeah it feels like it's gonna fall it's gonna slip off anyway we're gonna learn on the chin the principle for balancing is very simple I'm going to demonstrate on my finger. So you, to balance something, you keep it in a straight line um, as you would if it was just sort of standing up on the floor. And to balance, all you need to do is make sure the top is over the bottom and, and that line is straight upright. So if the top falls to one side, then I need to move the bottom underneath the top to recreate the line. Uh, and you know that is all you need to know. It's going to look like you're doing a lot of micro adjustments but all you're ever doing with a balance is making sure the bottom is underneath the top wherever wherever the top falls. So you can see that if, I, if I'm like balancing it like this it looks manic, it kind of is a bit manic but all I'm doing is moving the bottom always underneath the top uh, and it shouldn't be you know, that big. Balancing something is just like this. But even if you can't see it, I am constantly moving my hand so the bottom is always on the top because this thing doesn't stay still. So do that on your finger and just make sure you understand the principle before moving on to the chin. So uh, a few quick things to say about the chin. First, warm up your neck. I didn't do this when I learned and then I woke up the next day and my neck was really sore. So um, I, know, I would recommend doing a few of these, um, you know, just general neck exercises. 
the other thing, in terms of a timeline for how long it should take to learn, I learned it in two hours. Um, I remember because it was at a juggling club when I was like 13, the thing was about two hours long, and I remember I just went one week and just did balancing. Uh, and the next day I could balance a club pretty much, uh, but my neck was really sore. So I would say it should take you between one to two hours, maybe split that into a couple of sessions throughout the week. Um, the other thing, the bigger the thing you have to balance, the easier it is. So if you've got a garden and you've got a broom, that is easier than, uh, you know, something small like this. Um, and the last thing to say is you should try it in an area where there's plenty of room um, and you should be standing up. I know I'm kneeling, but you should stand up because it's easier to move around. So anyway, I've pretty much explained most things uh, that you need to know really, because the thing about this trick, it really is a case of just practicing it for a little bit once you understand what you're doing. Um, I'll show you how I would go about learning it. So I would hold the object. This is a club, but if I was holding this, I'd hold like that. If I was holding this, I would probably hold two hands, but basically I'm gonna have one finger on up the side and I'm gonna hold the rest of it like that. So I've got that. I'm gonna put it on my chin so I can feel where the dent is and I'm gonna try and like rest it nice and securely there. And then I'm gonna slowly move my hand up. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to find the balance uh, without moving my hand. So I'm taking the pressure away from my hand and then just kind of using it to support and grip but I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying not to keep hold of it with this hand basically. I'm trying to get the balance, but uh, this is just here for safety. And if it falls that way, then I can push it back. So right now I can clearly feel that the, the thing is in my hand. And that means that it needs to go more backwards. So I'm gonna to go to here. And then like this. This is a good way of learning. It's like, try to feel the balance without um, moving your hand too far away because the thing will fall off, right? And it probably will fall both ways. Um, but don't worry about it. Uh, just try and keep your hand close so you can grab it. Uh, something to think about is um, when you're balancing something, you always want your eyes on the top. This is the most important thing because you need to make sure that the bottom is under the top and the bottom is your face, your chin, because, you know, it's here. So you need, just need to look at the top, make sure if it's balancing in this position and then it falls out of a balance, I need to recreate that position. So I'm gonna to need to move my head all the way forward. And this is why uh, it's a lot easier to do when you're standing up because you will need to walk a little bit. When you're used to it, you can do smaller adjustments just with your head. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing I should say is try, um, just because I said just then, you can do the smaller adjustments with your head. When I say that, I mean, you are adjusting the head, but I would start that movement from the body because uh, you don't really want to be doing a lot of stuff just like, you know, moving your neck independently like that, this, like try and move as one unit, um, just for uh, uh, supporting your neck, etc. Um, so yeah, try this. Uh, if you're, things to think about, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very much a case of practice. If it's falling repeatedly one way, then you should, uh, you know, try not to uh, go so far that side, you know. If, it, if it's always falling like over the back of my head like that, then I know that I'm starting it too much to the, to the back. So I'm gonna make sure it's not falling to the back. I'm even using my other hand for support here. 
and then taking my hands away slowly. Oh wow, I balanced it. And then eventually you'll be able to do it like this, always looking at the top, making sure I'm underneath it. And so on. So guys, I'd love to know how you get on with this. If any of you learned to balance, just give it uh, a little bit of time and you will learn it. And then as soon as you can balance one thing, you can balance anything. Uh, it's quite a cool party trick, even if you're not into juggling or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, and I will see you all again tomorrow for another trick, another video. Uh, good luck and see you then.